Welcome back, guys. I'm Gene Delasala, president of Audioholics. And I'm Darren Egan. I'm the uh, sales and marketing director for RBH Sound. Darren, thanks for being here again today. One of our first guests on our YouTube channel. Happy to have you here. I'm happy to be here. Thank you, Gene. Awesome. So what's going on with you guys, man? I thought you were a speaker company. Now you're coming out with all these headphones. We are an audio company. <laughs> there you go. We want to be the company that people think of when they think of sound. So when it comes to whether it's personal audio, whether it's home audio, whether it's high performance home theater, uh, home, uh, well, the high, high performance two channel audio, we want to be mm -hmm. we want to be the company that everybody thinks of. So basically, you want to be in everyone's ears all the time. We want to give them the best sound experience that's possible at all times. I like that. I, I can really appreciate that. So let's start over here on my right. You've got these in-ear monitors. You've got two models here. You've got the EPSBs, which are the Bluetooth headsets. We've reviewed them. We love them. Now you have the newer ones, the EP3 headphones, which are the wired version. We also reviewed those as well. So what do you want to tell us that we haven't covered or you just want to give a fresh face on these two products that are currently shipping? Well, I think we probably ought to just start with the EPSB. Um, the EPSB was released, I want to say about uh, six months ago now, maybe a little longer. And uh, it's, it's proven to be a, a really, really strong product for us. Um, it, we're going after the sports crowd with this model, as you know. Um, but we've, we've put some technology into this that allows it to be more than just a sport Bluetooth model here, earphone. Uh, the, pe when people hear sport Bluetooth, they think of cheap or they think of disposable because if they, they run too hard or they, they lift weights too much that they might sweat on it and destroy it. And We've built some, some durability and some longevity into it as well as the sound quality. Well, I tell you, the, the thing that really impressed me about these, I, I finally got to travel with these headsets when I went to Cedia. And I was on a two and a half hour plane flight. I brought my little gasoline charger in case I would run out of battery. It wasn't the case, guys. The battery was strong. I then took these headphones to Cedia the next day. And I used them not only to listen when I was on the show floor, but used them as a mic to do these little interviews with guys like you and other manufacturers with my phone. And the mic sensitivity was good enough, whereas if I sat a few feet away from the person I was interviewing, even on a busy, uh, noisy uh, show floor, I was still able to get good uh, dialogue intelligibility. And I was really impressed by that. And the battery lasted the whole day with them just turned on. So that's that takes some doing. That's great, third, part of ver third party verification, there you go. You could probably make the next electric car with these kind of batteries. <laughs> we'll be in touch with you, Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> so Darren, tell us about the EP3s. Why would somebody per perhaps want to get an EP3 over the EPSB, especially since the EP3 has a cable and the SB is wireless? Well, for one thing, Gene, you don't have to worry about the, the battery. They're, you know, With a cabled uh, earphone like the EP3, you don't have to worry about the battery on that. Uh, you never run out of battery, technically, unless it's your phone. Right. Uh, but the advantage of the EP3 over the EP1 or the EP2 is the enclosure. We've gone to a ceramic enclosure on the EP3s, and it's really light, and it's really pretty, but it's it's a lot more stiff than the aluminum was, and it's light. So uh, I've already said that, but it, it's, it, it needs to be repeated. It's it's a great product. The, the other fact is, is that it's smaller. Mm -hmm. uh, we're dealing with an 8-millimeter driver versus a 13-millimeter driver. And so it's a little more agile. Uh, we're actually able to get an extended frequency response out of that that we haven't been able to with the EP1 and EP2, despite the fact that they won awards uh, on, from, on multiple levels mm -hmm. and accolades on multiple levels. Well, what I really love is the fact that these two headphones sound very similar. I mean, they're both really good sounding headphones. And like you said, this is a little bit of a, a lighter weight. It's easier to just stick in your ear and, and not have to worry about it popping out for any reason. Yeah. But um, I think they're both great solutions. What are the prices on these? So the EPSB is currently selling for $149 and we're including with that a uh, little micro cell fuel charger that you've uh, mentioned earlier. Um, you really may not need it depending on, on your usage and stuff like that. You're, you get about six hours is what we've been able to figure out. Well, the great thing the about PSBs. that microcharger is you could actually tuck it away into the little case and charge your headphones while you're not using them. And you get two and a half charges for each fuel can. You fuel. do. Yeah, it's, it's pretty neat. Um, and, and, you know, there's there's a huge advantage of the EPSB, just the fact that you don't have to worry about the wires like you said before. And right. uh, they're just super cool to have, you know, especially if you're working out or running or something like that. Um, the EP uh, EP3s rather 
are currently on sale for $99. Uh, that is an introductory price. We'll be bringing the price up after a little while. Guys, that. that is a steal. I recommend you getting it now. Trust me, listen to me now and believe me later. You're not going to get that kind of sound quality anywhere for 100 bucks. Yeah, they really do sound uh, really great. Um, an improvement over the EP1 and EP2 for sure. Um, the other advantage that we have of the EP3 is that we have this nice cable uh, that we've just we've uh, gone to with versus the fabric that we had with EP1 and EP2. Uh, the advantage of this TPE co uh, covered fabric is the is it doesn't have the microphonic sound that the fabric covered cloth did or a cable, and so you know that combined with the durability factor that we've added into these, uh, it, it's just a winning combination. It also, really is. also it's tangle resistant. I mean, you could just stuff them in your pocket and you easily get them out, and they're not going to be all tied in knots. Yeah. Yeah, Marshall found that out. <laughs> yeah. Yes, he did the tangle test on his video, so you guys should check that out. So, okay, so we covered your in-ear monitors. Now, this is the really um, exciting part. This is the big Billy Baru, folks. They've got over-the-ear headphones. We do. We've got a couple of new models that are coming coming out here pretty soon. Uh, we've got a, a Bluetooth model and a, and a wired model. Um, which one would you like to talk about first? You know, let's go simple. Let's go with the wired monitor over okay. here. And uh, a couple of questions I have for you is why are they uh, closed back instead of open back? And uh, what were your thoughts on designing them? What were your goals? Well, our goal with this is that we wanted to have a, an over-the-ear headphone that was going to perform on par, if not better, with our in-ear product. We wanted to have something that people who are really connoisseurs of audio, who really want just the privacy of, of having a good quality headphone, we wanted something that they could rely on and, and have uh, something that they could be proud of. Um, the e the HP2, which is what it will be named, uh, is, it has a 45 millimeter beryllium coated driver and uh, drivers rather stereo set. <laughs> right. Uh, but they sound phenomenal. And the neat thing is, is they're so light that it just makes them. A, they're they're fun to wear. They really Even are. Even the Tribble likes to wear it. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you guys, I got to listen to these for a little bit before we were shooting this video, and, and I was really blown away. I mean, I have had a lot of headphones in here before, and these are some of the best headphones I've ever heard regardless of price. I don't even know what the price is, and I hope you give us a reasonable price on these because they're addicting. I put them on. I felt like I was listening to my basically my reference system, and the greatest thing about it is the lightweight. I stick them on. They're not giving me ear fatigue. They're not you know, giving me helmet head or anything like that. They're very comfortable, very lightweight, and they're very sensitive. I was cranking the snot out of them just with my Samsung Galaxy S5, a lot louder than the other headphones I have at reference right now. So how did you get so much efficiency? And tell us what you think the price is gonna be. You know, I, I don't know how we, Shane was able to get as much efficiency in that as he has been. Uh, but as far as a price point goes, we're looking at under $200 for a set of those. Wow. Yeah, and, and they're they're on par with headphones that cost much more than that. Oh yeah, I mean, I've had headphones for over a thousand bucks and I prefer the sound of these. So again, these are the real deal, guys. This is, this is kind of a game changer. When people talk about great breakthroughs in audio, you're looking at one right here, yeah. in my opinion. We also include with the uh, HP2, the, the case that you're seeing here on the far right. Um, it's a nice place to store them, take them when you travel. Um, obviously not as uh, easy to travel with as a pair of EP3s or even a pair of EPSBs, but you know if you're looking for that higher quality sound maybe while you're in your hotel room or whatever while you're traveling, that's the way to go for sure. Well, the other thing too, because it's a closed back design, is you got good noise isolation. I think that's why you guys kind of went with that approach instead of an open back, right? Yeah, I think that when, when you look at the open back designs, they're, they're a little harder to, to, to develop. They're not as personal. You know, you, you, you end up having a little bit of extra sound bleed out, right? Right. So, yeah, we wanted something that wasn't going to, uh, to be a, 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 an advanced design yet. We're, we're getting into that uh, that upper realm that's going to cost a lot more money and and I don't I don't think that's what fans want I think that they want to be able to, to listen to a nice quality headphone and not break the bank in the process and also have it be comfortable because how many times have you had headphones that you know they sound great but try wearing them for more than a half hour they start wearing down on your ears or on your head mostly because they're heavy okay these are not heavy I could pick these up literally with a pinky I mean, just to show you how light these are, it's nothing. It really is nothing. It's yeah. quite amazing how you guys were able to do that. Yeah. The president of the company, uh, Roger Hassing, he, he refers to them as ultralight. Yeah. There you go. 
So what about the Bluetooth one? Is it the same kind of technology only in Bluetooth or is it a different driver? What's up with that? It's a different driver. It's a 40 millimeter driver. Um, I don't want to handle it too much, but I'll, I'll take it out here and show a couple of features. Um, the nice thing about this is the HP 1B and uh, this model is, is Bluetooth. Mm -hmm. That's what the B stands for. So it'll connect with Apple or Android devices or, or Windows devices, uh, anything that really has a Bluetooth 4 compatibility, you're going to be able to have uh, connect to these without a problem. Um, we have about, I want to say about a 20 hour talk time on these or listen time. So it's, it's up there. I, if I'm not mistaken, I'm actually under quoting that like we do with a lot of our stuff. Uh, it'll, it'll probably outperform the 20 hours that I'm thinking of. But uh, in, in the event that uh, it does, you know, your, your listening is a little more uh, overzealous than <laughs> 24 hours or whatever, uh, we include a couple of cables with this as well. But I'll get into that in just a minute. The, um, these are light as well. They're not as light because they do have to carry the battery and the Bluetooth electronics and whatnot. Right. Um, but these are a fantastic sound. You're not going to get for around $200, you're not going to get a better sound quality from a Bluetooth over the ear headphone, I guarantee you. And, and I got to listen to these as well, and I went back and forth, and I would say these are really close. They're not quite to the level of those headphones, but you know what? For portability, you take it on the go with you, no cables, and that kind of duration and battery, that is an awesome compromise to make for convenience, mm -hmm. and I'm telling you, you're going to love it. We've had a couple of different iterations of this prior to this. It's not like we just design one thing and run with it. We've had another design that we were looking at, and we got really close to producing it, and we just we pulled the we pulled the, the flaps on it and said, wait a minute, we're gonna we're gonna go with a different route here, and and we're very happy with the the way this is coming forward and, and the way it's sounding, um, sound being obviously the priority in, in what we're doing. Just like basically all your products, sound comes first. Yep. So if I'm hearing you right, these two sets of headphones are going to be around the same price. They are. They will. Uh, the one obviously has got the higher performance due to the beryllium alloy uh, coating driver. Uh, sorry, not an alloy, but it's a beryllium coating. But you'll have the uh, the Bluetooth capability with the other. Um, right. Yeah, and, and, and coming back to that for just a minute, I guess I better describe what the, the cables. So there's two cables that will come with the HP 1B. Uh, you'll have a, a standard cable. Um, actually, this is not the standard cable. You'll have a, a, a higher quality here. We've got this. A TPE cable that shares its uh, same resemblance to the uh, EP3, um, but you'll have this available. This is a straight-through cable. There's no control on it, mm -hmm. and that's uh, for the, the high-quality uh, listening when you when you run out of battery or you just want to listen to something off your phone really quickly. Um, and then we also include with this a another cable. It's a control cable, and it has a, a built-in microphone as well. So if you're on the run and you want to take a phone call, you just click the little button and, and you're ready to go. You can take a phone call. Um, the, the, these two cables will come with the HP2. Um, only the uh, this cable here, or sorry, I'm, I'm my mistake. It's this cable that comes with the HP1. So this cable will be included with both models. Uh, so you can use that with an Apple or Android or any other smart smartphone device. Uh, you can you know answer end calls or even control some of your smartphone functions with your music on on that. And then the other cable that we have, this is a higher quality cable. Um, straight through, but it's designed for the, the audiophile straight through cl clarity and audiophile grade for the HP2. So that's for your, you know, your dedicated listening basically. Right. Yeah. Excellent. So what's going on with this little box over here with the remote control? What are you guys getting into here? So this is the BT100, Gene. Uh, the BT100 is a new product for RBH. Uh, we're, we're expanding our Bluetooth selection a little bit. Um, the goal with the BT100 is to make sure that any pair of speakers is Bluetooth enabled. Mm -hmm. And enabled in, a, in such a way that it is high quality audio, uh, as high quality as we can possibly get. We're using aptx technology not only in our hp1b's but also in the bt100 so you're getting that pristine audio clarity out of that um the neat thing about the bt100 is its range um i think that we've been we've been able to hit that from a, at least 70 feet away it's wow. it's crazy the that little antenna just reach out and and uh, get anything from from clear out um the neat thing about another another neat thing about the BT100 is its connectivity features. You not only have the Bluetooth functionality that's in the, that's built into the to the amplifier, but you also have uh, two analog inputs as well. You have preamp inputs uh, from any kind of CD player or any other kind of device that you might have that has RCA style inputs, 
And then you also have an eighth inch auxiliary jack that would come from any smartphone or any other iPod or, or something like that. Um, the other input would be an optical input. So if you wanted to put mount that amplifier right behind a television for a couple of speakers that are in the wall or in the ceiling or even right there, bookshelf right next to the TV, it's nice. You can come home for after a long day of work and, and uh, connect your phone right to your uh, BT-100 automatically and start playing Pandora, Spotify, or any other streaming music surf uh, service and, and uh, or pull from your iTunes library and it'll play it just great. Nice. So yeah. how much how much power are you getting out of this thing? So it's 25 watts into 8 ohms per mm -hmm. channel and it's 50 watts into, channel, into each channel at 4 ohms. But as you know, we always rate... Uh, low, <laughs> right. perform better and, and rate it low, so or under uh, under rate it, I should say. Well, we'll have to get that on the bench uh, and do a formal review and see how it, uh, you know, how it squares basically. Yeah. What also is neat about this BT100 is it also has a subwoofer output. Oh wow! So if you wanted to extend the, the performance of your system even more, you can come out of that and into a powered subwoofer and and you're set. You're so guys, you could transform your old TV if you don't want to do a surround system in the room. You could transform it with this little box. Like you said, you put it behind the TV, get a pair of nice bookshelf speakers, maybe even from your SV line. Absolutely. And maybe like one of your 10 inch subs yeah. and you're good to go, man. You got a good two channel system that plugs right into your TV and you, and you stream everything off your phone. Yeah. What's the price going to be on this? Uh, we're looking at two ninety nine ninety five, and that'll be available here within the next forty to forty five days. So just in time for Christmas. And maybe if you order it in advance, they could take the ninety five cents off. We'll think about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you heard it, guys. There's some exciting more products coming from RBH. They're on the go now. They're giving you the headphones. They're giving you the in ear monitors, and now you got this Bluetooth amp. I think it's quite impressive. You guys are staying ahead of the curve, and you're you're adapting to the changing needs of consumers. Well, we sure hope so. Uh, again, our goal is to make sure that everybody thinks of RBH when they think of good quality sound, and, and I think that we're getting there with this. I think the next step is you need a breakfast cereal. A breakfast cereal? Yes. For the crunch? Yes, exactly. That way you're chewing and you can hear that great fidelity in your mouth and they have great taste as well. Okay. Well, we'll work on that uh, signature series crunch, I guess, here there relatively soon. We'll have to tell Shane about that pretty quickly. We will. And, you know, before we let our guys go, do you have any questions you'd like to ask him? You've got our audience captive. I do. I, the question that I want to pose to everybody is, is which, which form factor of, of headphone or earphone do you like the best? Uh, make comments below on the video here and, and let us know, you know, over the ear, uh, in ear. Let us know. We, we're interested. And subscribe to this channel because you're going to get more information about RBH products and, you know, our demyth demystifying uh, videos that Hugo and I normally do. By the way, where is Hugo? I don't know. I'm missing him. Yeah. I'm, I'm having Hugo withdrawals right now. I think he's too busy doing his bicep curls right now. <laughs> he's pumping something up. Yes. <laughs> or he's lifting some speakers. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah. Well, on that note, guys, uh, subscribe to our channel and uh, keep tuned on Audio Hawks as well as our Facebook and our forums. And until next time, keep, keep listening. listening. Happy Tribble loves RBH headphone. But what happens when you take away the headphones? Don't forget to give your Tribble good audio.